Ryan here for SillyReviews.com, and with a frustrating and not-so-silly review, I'd like to tell you about yet another experience over at Walmart when I go to pick up an item today on Tuesday, October 10th. Because I've experienced similar shitty service before when going to pick up an item from Walmart using their pickup at store service, I had my camera ready, and sure enough, I was not disappointed. Here we go. I showed up around 2.30 p.m. when I figured there wouldn't be much of a line. There was no line. There was also no one in the pickup area. There was no one behind the desk. So on the keypad uh, swipe card machine, they have a button you can press to alert that you need assistance. So let's see how long it takes for assistance to arrive. One thing you'll notice amongst all the literature and advertising for their pickup at store service, they will not mention anything anywhere about this being some type of fast alternative to shopping yourself or getting it shipped to your house or anything like that. I found that interesting. One of the housekeepers acknowledges my presence. Uh, No, I pressed the button. Supposed to notify somebody. Okay, the housekeeper lady notified somebody who went over the store's intercom and said someone, me, needs assistance in pickup. I can see employees through that little window in the door and a couple of them had turned back and looked and seen me standing in the same exact place for going on about five minutes. The little touch screen that I used when I first got there to, which is supposed to notify somebody that you need help in that department had reset. So I went ahead and pressed it again. Maybe that'll get somebody to help me.
I'm really not trying to, you know, put all these employees on, uh, you know, this footage. But at this point, several employees have gone through an access door to my left. And I've looked at them. They've looked at me and they just put their head down or some just looked right at me and they just kept on trucking like I wasn't even standing there this long. Through that window to the right. That same lady has looked at me yet again and doesn't come out to ask why I'm just standing in place. There are employees back there working and they look at me and they don't come out to see if I've been helped. Really, I guess these people, it is what it is and they're just milking the clock and do the bare minimum. It's just how it is. At this point, it feels like any time I find a good deal online and it's from Walmart and I have to get it shipped to store and pick it up from the store, that I'm just absolutely held hostage here. They already have my payment. The product is somewhere probably within 10 feet of me, but I just have to stand here and deal with this. And this has been every time for the past year that I've been coming to this store to pick up from online orders. At least at this point, because we're getting close to the 10 minute mark, I'm, I've kind of sidetracked my uh, attention to being less pissed off and actually more hopeful that I can get to the 10 minute mark. So it's making things a little bit better. And yep, there's still people back there who walk past. They look, they see me standing like a statue, not helping. The restrooms are to my left, men's, women's, families. I don't know if they have some LGBTY, LMNO gender bathrooms there, but several people have come by and done their business and left while I'm just standing here. No, no. Somebody called for help. I've pressed that twice. Okay, this nice lady who seems forced to acknowledge me came by and I explained to her that I pressed the little screen twice for help and some housekeeper lady had called on her intercom. In a second, I'm going to put the phone in my pocket because I talked to someone and I just, I don't want to put the phone in the employees' faces. I don't blame them. I blame management. That most recent lady came back. She seems a little dumbfounded and annoyed on my behalf. That help screen touch pad had reset itself again, so I pressed it again. Maybe it'll get me some help. I appreciate that. 
that most recent lady who called somebody twice on her walkie-talkie uh, left, and I, I thanked her. And now I'm alone again. Well, I'm, I'm well over the 10 minute mark, so that's exciting. But now the annoying uh, feeling is setting back in. I've had several intrusive thoughts while I'm waiting here. One is to pick up that phone and maybe I can get on the intercom some kind of way and just start rambling off some obnoxious shit to make this a little more fun or fun at all or tolerable. Oh, she apologized for the wait. Yeah, for Ryan. So, two thumbs down for picking stuff up from Walmart. It it just doesn't save you any time. It, it's frustrating. It doesn't even matter if you try to time it out, which I did successfully. No line. Of course, nobody there. And it, it just ends up taking an eternity and all of my patience for the day. So, forget about it. I just, I'd rather just order everything off Amazon or eBay or anywhere and I know that when I get home it's going to be there.